Welcome to Excellence in Excel. I am Nick Wong and in this video we'll start to use a calculation to calculate uh, complicated formulas for example for tax. So Excel is really really wonderful to use for calculation of tax. So imagine we have the following and I'm going to take a tax formula and I found one which is from the Philippines and this is a philippine payment structure for tax so you can see here let me explain a little bit so you have a better understanding so you can see here the tax income the annual tax income will depend on how much you've earned for the entire year and you can see here that if you would earn between zero and two hundred fifty thousand, there's zero tax to pay if you earn between this amount let's say bracket number two you will pay a 20% on the excess of, uh, of the excess of 2,500. So meaning that everything between here, then you start to pay. And then the same here, bracket three, there's a minimum payment of 30,000 plus 25% in excess of. And the same, you can see here, it continues here until here, 8 million, and then it is 35% everything on top of the 8 million. So this is really nice, but it's a very complicated structure since there are multiple formulas in one. And so let's start and work with that. So how will we translate this to our Excel? And I will going to give after some examples from imagine you have John and John makes a million pesos. So in which bracket is he, is he categorized? Well, in this bracket and then how much? So we can just calculate that. So let's start with the beginning. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll just copy the information here. To, to simplify, I'll just copy all of this. I'm going to paste it in here somewhere, just somewhere here on the side. And you can see it's already copied most of it. However, we need the right layout. So I'm going to start here just from scratch. So step one, I'll say Philippine tax table. And then we had brackets, right? So we're going to use the brackets here, bracket one, that's the starting point. So this is bracket one, two, three, four, five, six, in total six brackets. So we have now six brackets and then we can start to put in the pricing for the brackets. Starting is zero, then we have 250,000, then we have 400,000, then we have 800,000, and then we have 2 million, and then 8 million. All right, so we have now the starting point of the bracket and let's go now to the second one. That is the ending point. All right, it ranges between 250,000, 400,000, 800,000, 2 million, then we have 8 million. And from there on, we will not fill up anything. This is unlimited. So we have a starting point. I'll just make this Designed slightly nice by giving an accent, yes. And we have here our input. This will be also an input. So we give it also an input here. All right. So we have here the percentage. So we say here percentage. And what is the percentage? Well, in bracket one, zero. Zero. Oh, zero percent. Then we have bracket two, is 20%. Then we have bracket three. And that is 25%. So well, I'll just move this slightly down so you see it more better. So you can see this is easier to follow. Bracket 4, 30%. Bracket 5, 32. And finally, 35% for bracket 6. All right, so now we have this. Let's delete this. This right now, I will not delete yet. So you can see here, there is some... Uh, fixed payment so we're going to put in this like I will call this minimum tax so this is the minimum amount and you can see here the first two brackets has no minimum but now it starts to get a minimum of 30,000 then this is 130,000 490,000 and 200 for 400 uh, sorry 2 million four hundred and ten thousand all right so now we have everything let's delete this we have our nice things so i'll just make the design and i will increase the font size as well so now we have all of these and give this also an input this will get like a explainer text explanatory text all right 
So we're almost done here. I'll just increase the size to 18. So this is slightly better to read. All right. We got that. We got this. We got that. So let's give you some financials. So I'll just click on this. It's already set on the Philippine peso. So that works fine. Same here. There we go. All right. So now we have our financial structure. So in the next video, I will start to discuss on how we can calculate, how we can make a formula. So that will be in the next video. And if you like videos like these about Excel and how to get advanced in Excel, just check out my link below. There you can find a wonderful Excel course and you can get more better in your skills.